It's time to eat this leftover, extremely rare steak. How do you know when this thing's working? <laughs> We're gonna go take a break and hunt mushrooms in the forest. I wonder if this happened during the lightning storm. Looks like it. Holy cow, dude. Look at this. Whoa. I mean, it looks like it got burnt, right? Just hit right here. Yeah. Just, yeah. The king of the north. <laughs> I feel like I'm in Catching Tiger Hidden Dragon. Yeah. This is a solid tree that fell. And it is a good thing that nobody was underneath this because they would have had a terrible day. I love thunderstorms though. Like, it's not moving. <laughs> Plant yarrow. If you dry those leaves up and powder them, you can put them in a wound and I've heard that they stop like the bleeding. And I saw this and I thought it was like a different plant, but it just has a vine on it. It's a poison ivy. Does that affect you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who watch our other videos, this is where we did that Michael Jackson Halloween thriller Mad Max parody thing it's on these trails right here. Are there any particular mushrooms like you're trying to find? Yeah, chanterelles. So those orange ones, you know the ones we thought, actually we found chanterelles in Red River Gorge, but there were so few that we didn't bother picking or cooking them. But in hindsight, I kind of wish we had. <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking for specifically when you're looking for mushrooms? Like, are you just looking for spots? Well, I remember, i seen some popping up around here. Ooh, well. I don't know what that is, but it looks like a squirrel. One of the coolest mushrooms I found was uh, it's called Phallus ravenelli, Ravenel stinkhorn. <laughs> I mean, it's in the Phallus genus, because it looks like a phallus. <laughs> it's like this long, hollow tube with like a sticky green thing at the end, Interesting. and like a little urethra at the top. It's really weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a really cool find. Why is it just a random tree cut down right here? Are we just practicing bushcraft out here? I guess so, that's my guess. <laughs> they did nothing with it. Yeah. Kind of look like the weirwood trees to me. Yeah, they do. Okay, I don't think this is good to eat yet, but this is a May apple. When it turns yellow and shriveled, it's supposed to taste pretty good. I've never tried it though. But apparently, like, you really have to race the animals because <laughs> they like to eat it. It must have rained really hard here. One time Thomas and I were, we were walking on the bike path just outside the forest and we noticed that all these streams were blue, like unnaturally blue with food coloring almost. We wanted to figure out what it was. So we like drove around for hours until we finally traced it back to this like, and it might have been one of the golf villages. There's like a golf course and there's these really dystopian suburban developments <laughs> called golf villages. There was like a fountain with blue water and I think it was just like overflowing or something. It might not have been a big deal, but like the coloring is meant to prevent algae from growing, but coloring can also like change the temperature and mess with the ecosystem. And also it's just like, I don't like the color. <laughs> yeah. Some walnuts. Smell it. Oh, oh. oh, I remember smelling those as a kid. Yeah, me and my friend Jason ate some hickory nuts one time and we were like cracking them and one of them had like a weevil grub in it, so we just ate that too. <laughs> <laughs> I totally understand, like, the movies where they have an angry forest spirit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's some raspberries. It's really good, actually. Darker is riper? Yeah, the black raspberries. Mine was really flavorful. I don't know about yours. 
Mine was super sweet. It was a little tart. <laughs> it's good though. Might be more tart. Oh, this one's not even right there. We filmed a video back here before. Andrew identifying all the plants that you see around here. This is the different seasons. Those cottonwood trees, that when you eat the buds, they're like really spicy. It tastes like a, it's like you're eating a cinnamon candle, kind of. Is there there like was a bunch of those in my backyard growing up. Oh, what about these? Oh, this is like some sort of honeysuckle. You can't eat them. But. Man, they look so good though. I know. There's actually a berry out west that like grows like this with the two dingleberries next to each other. Uh huh. And I think that's edible, but I forget what it's called. Hmm. I have more success finding wild raspberries than I do growing strawberries. <laughs> Yeah, these are bound to be good. That middle one. Wow. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, this one's gonna be really sweet. Oh yeah. That was sweet. Sweet. <laughs> It's really weird, but like whenever we do stuff like this where you just like pick a direction and wander, it's weird how at home I feel. Like it, it feels like this is more natural than other things that I do. <laughs> yeah, like this feels better than sitting inside. Yeah, <laughs> it's like I have all these nice things to entertain me, but just walking in random directions entertains me way more. the Game of Thrones, people die. This looks like a toilet almost. <laughs> <laughs> Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Uh, no, because I'm thinking what I'm thinking. <laughs> no, what are you? Oh, yes. <laughs> wow, this is like a moonscape. Yeah, do your moon bounce. <laughs> <laughs> Killdeer over there. What's a kill deer? It's this bird that kills deer. No, I'm just <laughs> they call it that because of the sound it makes. A <laughs> little shore bird. Oh yeah. Yeah, some mulberries. This is like any any fruit that looks like this in Ohio is edible, but these ones are like really good. A little bit underripe, but uh, just don't eat the green ones. I've heard they make you like hallucinate and poison you. <laughs> we used to have these in our backyard, also. Really? Yeah. I like all of these in our backyard. Actually, this might be like the first tree that I learned because my mom told me this. Mm, that was good. Funny. Wow, there's, there's so many different types in here. Like, I don't even know how you would possibly choose. I don't know if I've talked about it on the vlog, but if you go on Tinder, every single girl's profile says, I like live music and craft beer. I literally only know what half of those things means. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rick Steves, back with more of the best of Europe. This time, it's all Greek to me, and that's exactly why we're here. It's Rick Steves, I'm right there with you, brother. <laughs> ah, Euro through the back door. <laughs> okay, Greedo says you've had your fun, get back to work, you dog. <laughs> That does it for vlog episode something. And remember, 
hit that like button. See you tomorrow. Okay, I know not everybody watches Adventure Archives who watches this vlog. But you but, should. <laughs> but you should. But for those of you who do, we're gonna show you five seconds from every song that we have, Ooh, okay. but no more. President Sennard, your bodyguard detail has arrived. Uh, thank you, Rick. That's all you get. That's all you get. <laughs> I've always wanted to find more elves in the wild, but now I... Man, that's painful, isn't it? That's really painful. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, every time you want to keep watching, don't you? <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Is it, is it, that's really painful. <laughs> There you have it. Wow, dude. <laughs> that that is probably more cruel than it needed to be. Right? <laughs>